YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby, I am a Lululemon educator, and today's video is going to be another buy or buy. This is my monthly series where I go through all of Lululemon's new releases and give you my first impressions and opinions on them. Just as a disclaimer, even though I am a Lululemon educator, this video is not sponsored. All of these opinions are my own. However, I am going to talk about the Blissfeel running shoes in which all of the educators did did get gifted a pair from Lululemon, so I also want to put that out there. But I did also purchase a pair for myself, but I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there first and foremost. I will have everything linked down below in the description for you in case you want to shop or in case you are curious or want to shop any of these products, they will be linked down below for you. But without further ado, let's jump right into new releases. All right, so obviously the biggest thing that dropped this Tuesday, which is March 22nd, is the Bliss Feel running shoes. This is Lululemon's first ever shoe that they have made themselves. I know that they did a collaboration with APL a few years ago, however, it wasn't Lululemon designing these shoes. From the information that I found through the website and just kind of knowing is Lululemon has been working on these shoes for about four years with over a million foot scans. And the really cool thing about them is that they are designed for women first. Basically, most running shoes are designed with the male foot in mind and then shrunken down into a women's version. However, this is the first kind of shoe that is developed for women's feet specifically. It's not just a shrunken down version. It really has like all of the women's biometrics considered into the shoe, which I thought was really cool. And Lululemon did gift educators one pair of shoes. We did not get to choose the color, but I'm still super thankful that Lululemon was able to send us a pair to try out since not all of the stores did get the shoes to carry physically. So this is what the packaging looks like. Like. Some of you maybe already have your shoes by the time this video is posted, but I do love the simplicity of the packaging. I think it's really on brand. And then the shoes that I got are the triple black pair. I have already worn these to work, but I repackaged them to kind of unbox them for this video because I think that's always fun. But I'll give you a little bit of an overview of the shoes and then kind of my first thoughts before we get into the rest of the new releases. But here they are, this is what they look like. Again, they have like a little Lululemon symbol on the bottom. They have lots of tread within the sole of the foot, which I really like. It's great for running. They have the Lululemon symbol on the back. And again, I believe some of these are reflective, which is really nice. So great if you are running at night. And then sometimes for the colored pairs, this part here will be more of a gradient. However, on the triple black, obviously they are just all black. And I love the inside kind of insole of the shoe. It is actually a blue color. I don't know how well that will show, but it is like a nice turquoisey blue in here, which I think is really cute. They do fit true to size. I got a size six in these. That's normally what I wear for all of my running shoes. And they do suggest to size up half a size if you do have wider feet. I will say that these ones are more of a slim fit. Your foot will feel hugged in the shoe. However, I don't think it's like tight, like it's not squishing my foot at all. It just feels a little bit different than the rest of my running shoes I've ever had. It's gonna feel hugged. It's gonna feel hugged in the heel and the front, like in the toe box as well. But I feel like your feet still have enough room for your toes to splay. And like as you're walking and moving, it's still very comfortable. I did wear these for a shift at work and honestly, I absolutely love them. They didn't make my feet hurt. I didn't find that there was too much of a break in process with them. They do feel a little bit different as you're walking around in them like when you first put them on, but I feel like you get used to it very quickly. I also did go running in these. Also, same thing, it felt really different to run in them at first. Like I definitely could feel like the small little muscles and ligaments, like different ones that I was using because my foot is maybe more secure in these ones. It's not sliding around, it's not moving back and forth. It is just hugged in place. So as if I was like running almost like barefoot, that's kind of what maybe this feels like. But honestly, I think this has great support, great shock absorption. I'm not too much of a sneakerhead, so I don't really know like all the technicality points of the shoes, but so far 
just from what I have experienced in them. I really like them and I obviously bought a second pair in the color Mink Berry, but I'll show you all the colors here in a second. But that's kind of my initial review with the Blissfield running shoes. Now they are releasing another workout shoe coming summer 2022 as well as a slide sandal which i'm super excited to see how that one rolls out as well and maybe i'll pick up a pair but i do feel like these ones are really meant for running and then they'll have shoes that come out for different purposes like working out and training within the next little while here with that out of the way let's chat about everything else lululemon dropped i do want to go over like the shoe colors really quick in case you haven't seen them they are on the website i did debate about getting this green ray color so this is called butter pink scream green light and delicate mint honestly i've seen these on tiktok i think they look really nice i do think they were called green ray at some point but they looks like they changed the color name a little bit they also have the mink berry pink parfait light vapor triple black is the ones I have black and white they have flare silver drop white or triple white I guess this one is water drop and they also had an electric lemon but I don't see that one on the Canadian app looks like it was only released in the US so far so not really sure if that's a glitch or what's happening there but it is one with black and then the kind of swoosh on the side is yellow the next item here is the stretch ripstop running half zip now I do believe that this one has UV protection in it if I can remember correctly it is lightweight kind of made for those summer runs which is really nice it's going to be super super lightweight almost more of a like track pants sleek slippery material I would say but this is absolutely gorgeous on I don't think the website really does it justice I think it looks way cuter in person absolutely love this especially the vintage plum color they also released the reflective line so this mist over windbreaker is 398 dollars canadian which is absolutely crazy i do love the mist over windbreaker however that price point is i feel like a little bit steep for the product so as you can see here the orange speckles in the jacket is the reflective part but again i get the technicality of the piece it's going to be a little bit more expensive however that just seems like a lot to me and i know they come out with reflective stuff around seaweed's time i remember seeing it last year but i don't think that came out until june so i'm not really sure if this is like for something particular or just a, like another technical piece Piece for running in the summer I do find that like obviously the reflective is helpful if you like to run in the summer like to run at night or early in the morning kind of when there's not a lot of sunlight for safety reasons obviously really good but these hottie hot shorts are also $128 when normally they are $68 so again that's almost double the price for the reflective in there I get the technicality piece but definitely don't buy it just for the fashion piece if that makes sense we do have a couple new colors in the energy long line bra this bronze green and electric lemon again bronze green electric lemon orange soda vintage plum slash vivid plum are all like the main color themes for the spring and summer i feel like same with this raspberry cream i'm not a huge fan of the energy bras in general the long lines are a little bit better but i find i don't fill them out enough that they start to pucker it just shows through the shirt which i don't i'm not really a fan of so unfortunately the energy bras don't work for me personally but that's okay we also have the swift speed shorts in vintage plum and i feel like these are going to be exactly the same as the leggings just obviously with a short version they are gonna have i believe like a sticky kind of liner on the leg so that they don't slide up or ride up at all i am gonna do kind of a shorts comparison video on my channel very soon so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it what else oh this two-in-one super high-rise running short again i don't really understand the concept or like the fashion I guess it's not really for fashion, but just like the two-in-one short thing, like I guess, yes, you need like the compressive thing if you're like running a long time, okay, but this is not something like I would necessarily purchase. I don't have a purpose for it. I'm not a marathon runner, which I feel like these are kind of geared towards and so that you have that compression and then you also have like that looser short if you don't want to just wear like biker shorts to run. They also finally came out with the Pink Blossom Align Pants in the 25 inch length. Previously, we only seen the crop 23 and 21 inch length. So it's nice to see that they are coming out with the longer length as well. These ones are gonna be double 
double lined and again I always say you can tell that they're gonna be double lined because they're gonna have that seam down the outside of the legging and you can tell that in the product photo so if you see that seam they're they're gonna be double lined they also came out with a creamy mint scuba half zip hoodie however that one sold out super quick I'll see if I can find a picture to at least insert for you here but that one also came out as well as mineral blue so again I feel like this one is a very gorgeous like kind of more navy toned blue it's gonna be a lot lighter than true navy so if you do have true navy I do find that this one is like enough of a difference to make both work in your closet um, night sea is gonna kind of be right in the middle of those two tones but again mineral blue gorgeous color we also have artifact which came out a couple weeks ago but I don't think it was in my last fire buy and this one was a little bit too warm tone for me unfortunately but it is a super nice like neutral color if you are maybe on that more fair side we did see a couple more swiftly's come out so this is the chroma check mineral blue slash blazer blue I feel like this is a very popular kind of pattern type in the swiftly's for the season or maybe even this year I'm not sure how long it'll stick around for we also have do pink another gorgeous like brighter pastel pink color really love this one plus the raspberry cream slash do pink a little bit more of a heathering in there but overall I'm so glad to see more colors come out in the Swiftleys because I feel like there wasn't that many for a while there so really happy to see more coming out we also have a couple new Align high neck tanks now if you have been watching my videos you know that I've been up obsessed with these tank tops. I love them so much, maybe even better than the original Align tanks, just because it gives you extra coverage up here. It is also light support for C and D cups, where the original Align tank is support for A and B cups. I feel like I do have to size down for this one. Maybe I've bought my original size so far, but I do find the band, again, is kind of puckering with the energy bra, and after doing some research on Reddit and Google, people say to size down and see if that helps because the ruching comes from extra fabric when it kind of relaxes a little, so hopefully that helps. I'll keep you updated, but they do have lavender dew, which I'm excited to see coming back because that is one of my favorite Lululemon colors. I get asked that all the time on TikTok. So happy to see lavender dew coming back. Might have to pick that one up. And we have pastel blue along with vivid plum and raspberry cream. So again, if you haven't tried the line high neck tops and you find the regular line tops maybe aren't enough coverage for you if you have a little bit of spilling out definitely go for the high neck tops or even if you don't I just find they're a nice silhouette and a great tank that you can even pair under things again we have a lot of the swiftly relaxed coming out as well so anything in the swiftly we have this bronze green plus the chroma check stripe vivid plum I saw this in person again I'm not a huge fan of it honestly and I'm not a huge fan of the swiftly breeze in general I just feel like I'm too petite for them I kind of drown in them even going down to a size zero it just looks too baggy and oversized for me and that's not really how I like my clothes to fit so if you don't like the Swiftly's and how slim fitting they are definitely check out the Swiftly Breeze definitely gives you more room and it's a great alternative we also have this new diamond dye mink berry lunar rock shadow gray I believe lunar rock was a color last year interesting that it is coming back I do like to see that the mink berry maybe is coming out in a couple more items to go with the shoes I would love to see like color pairings to go with the shoes as well I think that would be really smart for Lululemon to do people want to match their shoes with their outfits so glad to see something come out in mink berry and I really hope to see more because that is the color of shoes I got we also have the hottie hot shorts in pastel blue and raspberry cream these aren't new this week I do believe there was orange soda but I'm not seeing them at the moment and I know that was a really popular item. I do see the orange soda in the high rise short. These are one of my favorite shorts right now at Lululemon. I love the high rise of them. I don't really like low rise. I, I've tried them on in store, can't really do it. So I will opt for high rise when I can. We also have the mid rise speed up short in vivid plum again I really like the speed up shorts other than the fact that they have the zipper on the back I just find it less comfortable if you're doing any type of floor work like sit-ups or something like that at the gym that zipper might like dig into a little bit but again they're made for running if you use them for that purpose they're great I do see they're getting a little bit more into patterns and stuff with the leggings this is the intertwined camo medium olive multi and I feel like this kind of looks more like a leopardy 
type print than a camo per se, but maybe it's just a different type of camo if they're straying away from like the traditional classic type camo, maybe going with this. Not really sure what's happening there. Again, I don't think it's something that I would purchase. This pattern as well, the Stencil Blossom Red Multi is a very interesting to me. Again, not something that I would pick for myself. I would be interested to try these on, maybe buy it on Markdown just to have like a fun pair of leggings. However, I definitely don't think this would be like an everyday kind of staple for me. Again, we have lots more Swiftly colors coming out. This is the Blazer Blue Tone. I feel like this one is really popular and we also have the Orange Soda and this Marble Dye Rhino Gray. Would love to see Rhino Gray make a comeback as well. We also have this Ripened Raspberry color in the Swiftly Tech Long Sleeve. So not really sure if that one's coming back because I know that was a color last year. Again, very interesting. We do have the Like a Cloud long line for D and double D cups in white. I've had this one requested so much and it finally dropped online. I think we've had these in store for quite a while now, but they are online right now. But we also have the Align waist length tank top in silver blue. Honestly, I love silver blue. It is such a gorgeous color. I'm not a huge fan of the Align tank waist length particularly, but I would love to see this one in the regular Align tank or even in a high neck Align tank because I do love this color. But again, if you want something with a little bit more coverage waist wise, then I'd go with the waist length tank top. Oh, we also have raspberry cream in the Swiftly Tech short sleeve shirt race length. I'm honestly debating about getting this one. I love the raspberry cream color and I love the Swiftly, so I feel like it's a match made in heaven. Absolutely love that one. They are starting to update the Wonder Train shorts. I did see that on Reddit. Currently, the Wonder Train shorts, if you have a pair, then you already know, they kind of squeeze your legs. They have a very small leg opening and maybe the tapering just, I don't know. It's not like, like you can see the tapering when you just hold the product on the hanger, but it definitely squeezes your legs in odd places and kind of gives me sausage legs. So I'm not really a huge fan of the Wonder Train shorts for that reason. However, I did see that they are updating the fit to have a wider leg opening, which has seemed to fix the problem for those who have tried it on. Again, this is just something I've seen on Reddit. They found them in stores so far. I haven't seen that update come online yet. So I'm keeping my eye out to hopefully see them drop in stores, but I am excited to see this updated fit. We also have the Scuba French Terry Jogger coming back now that it is summer this makes sense it's gonna be more of a light material as a sweatpants so not as warm as the fleece version obviously it's gonna feel more of a towel type material if you're familiar with a perfectly oversized cruise it's gonna be the same material as that honestly I'm not a French Terry gal so I'm probably gonna be skipping those ones but I do love my scuba joggers in the regular cotton and I feel like I get cold anyway so they'll probably be fine for me on chilly summer nights also, the scuba full zip hoodie is making a comeback, which I'm really excited about. We have silver blue, they restocked the black, and I think they might have updated this fit. We've got vintage plum and dew pink. I really love to see more colors come out in the scuba full zip hoodie. I feel like it doesn't receive as much attention as it should since the oversized full zips, half zips, funnel necks came out. I do have a scuba comparison video coming up on my channel so be sure to stay tuned for that and you can see kind of the difference between all of them but I definitely think that this one is underrated and it needs more attention. We have a few Kate's t-shirts in the mineral blue, orange soda, and raspberry cream. Again, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the Kate's tee. I did get one and I don't really wear it that much and I'm not sure if it's just because I sized up in it and I don't really like the look and the feel of it. I will try a regular size, which is a size two for me and keep you posted, but cute colors nonetheless. We also have the Inner Glow shorts making a comeback. I did purchase one pair of these just for my shorts video coming up. So I am curious to see how they fit. They do say they're French terry material, which I'm a little iffy on, but they kind of look cute, like a nice like little lounging short. So we'll see, we'll see. We also see some swimwear coming out. This is the back zip high rise paddle tight. Um, again, I guess if you like paddleboard, this might be like a good 
item for you. They do look like the Instill leggings, like the same seam shapes and stuff, but loves the raspberry cream color. Definitely will stand out on that paddle board. We also have the back in action long sleeve dress. Now the dresses and skirts go very, very quickly for summer. So if you are looking for a dress from Lululemon, I do suggest getting on purchasing one now, even though it might be a little bit early, like it's still, you know, forecasted to snow tomorrow where I live. But once these sell out, it's very hard to find them because they don't restock very often. So I would suggest, you know, if you have a dress that you like, then just pick it up now. Not a huge fan of the back in action personally. I just don't really like the flowiness of it, but there's a lot of people who do love this dress and I know it's gonna sell very quickly. Oh, we also have some waterside high rise, super, super high rise swim bottom. I kind of like these actually. I do like the higher rise swim bottoms. I just find it looks a little bit more flattering on me. Again, not really a huge fan of mid rise, low rise. So might look into buying a bathing suit bottom. We also have this waterproof cropped trench coat, which I do find interesting. I'm not really sure if you can call it a trench coat if it's cropped. Like to me, trench coats are just like a longer coat. Not really sure how I feel about this item. Definitely looks oversized, a little bit more of that boxy, relaxed fit versus like a trench coat that maybe has like a belt or something that you like kind of cinch. So definitely not my style. I don't think I would gravitate towards this, but I would be interested to try it on just to see how it actually does fit. But yeah, I kind of like the deep artifact color at least. But that wraps up today's video. Honestly, I've been really loving Lululemon's new releases. I am a sucker for all of the pastel springtime colors. That is basically my color palette. So this is my time to shine, I guess. So stay tuned for my monthly haul later in the month to see what I have bought. But let me know what you've been liking down below in the comments, if there's something you've added to your wish list, even let me know that down below as well. I love chatting with everyone. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post new content to my channel. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.